What's going on, family? It's your brother, Robert. 1 Peter 5 and 5 says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. As we've been in this stranger series, we've come to the last devotional. We've talked about stranger dreams. We've talked about stranger interpretation. We've talked about stranger warnings. We've talked about stranger response, a stranger result. Here in this last devotional, we're going to be coming from stranger realization. Stranger realization. So verse 37, the last verse in Daniel chapter 4 says, Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the King of Heaven. For all his works are right and his ways are just. And those who walk in pride, he is able to humble. One thing I never told you about Daniel chapter 4 is the fact that it's written in such a way that it seems like it's a letter. A letter that Nebuchadnezzar is sending throughout his entire territory after this event had occurred. And as he closes this letter, he makes a realization. A realization that God exalts the proud, God resists the proud, but he exalts the humble. He says here that those who walk in pride, he is able to humble. Pride. Pride is placing yourself above God. Pride is placing yourself, your own abilities, your own strength, your own uh, wherewithal above God. Not acknowledging God as the giver of everything that you have, but thinking you are a self-made man or woman, thinking that you did it all yourself, thinking that you had no help or anything from God. And Nebuchadnezzar realizes what Peter says in 1 Peter chapter 5, that pride can be humbled. Pride can be brought low. Pride can be addressed. And God can and very frequently does address pride in our lives. So then it begs the question or begs the response, why would we ever be proud? And the answer is we shouldn't be. We should seek humility. We should seek a low position. We should seek a position of not seeking to self-exalt ourselves, but allowing God to exalt us. Humility or humbleness is defined as by C.S. Lewis. Humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. Friends, Nebuchadnezzar's great realization in this text was the fact that God can humble anyone. So instead of being one of those people that God humbles, we should be people, we should be those who seek to humble ourselves so God can exalt us. Friends, let's look for the positions of humility today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for as we see Nebuchadnezzar's pride on full display in this chapter. We see him not acknowledging you one bit for all the great things that you have done. But he had to go through a trial for an extended period of time. And once that trial came to an end, he worshiped and he realized that you can, you can humble any prideful person. I pray, Lord, that you help us to remove the seeds of pride before you have to humble us. And I pray that we would seek that low position, that position of a servant, so you can bring us up at the proper time. Lord, we love you, we praise you, we thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Thank you for listening to all these stranger series devotionals and come back for more daily devotionals. God bless.